We are back with the old gang with Mike, Heather, Luke, Andy, but we also joined by Christy now for this session. Christy, do you want to hazard a guess as to what loop we're on? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is loop 162. So Fucking hell. I don't understand. I generally don't know what happened, to be honest. Um, uh, is anyone changing character from the last game? I'll be changing characters. Mm-hmm. Luke? Uh, no, Buckingham Bear shall stay. Lovely. Heather? I'm going to stay as well. Love your stuff. Andy, you changing, sorry. Yep. Love your stuff. So just to confirm, uh, Luke was Buckingham Bear and Heather was <laughs> Wonder Bread Woman. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I've written here one of the first brands of sliced bread and women. <laughs> <laughs> so, Andy, who's your new character? Uh, okay, my new uh, character. So I've, I've got to credit uh, our old friend Gary. He gifted me this one. Okay. Is um is Sub Optimus Prime, <laughs> who is a, a non biological extraterrestrial, if you will, from the planet Cybertron, who has now spent too much time on Earth and has failed his MOT. <laughs> so his his prose is uh, obviously he's like a killer robot from mm-hmm. the future. Um, he can transform or try and transform into sort of useful forms throughout the the game, uh, including including weapons. And I emphasize try you know uh, yep. uh, i don't spoil. yeah um <laughs> uh, cotton's obviously fell his mot no longer legally allowed on the road so you have, have to watch out for the dvsa at all times lovely stuff is it still called mot in america i was gonna say unfamiliar i don't think americans have them i think you don't have to like service your car every year do you Oh, we do. Uh, there's like state inspections and in, uh, state registration. Oh, just a vehicle inspection certificate. And if it fails, can it be taken off the road? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah. So that basically, yeah. Yeah. There okay. we go. We're yeah. all learning. Um, yeah, we, we call it an MO, an MOT. Uh, Christy, hello. Well, I'm debating on how chaotic to be. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Always the chaos. Yeah. And I'm going to go with Marvin. Oh, lovely. Marvin the robot from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> okay, so Marvin is a paranoid android who was originally built by the Sirius Cybernetic Corporation as a failed prototype for GPP, genuine people personality. You can tell, can't you? Marvin is affected with severe depression and, um, and boredom. Um, you ought to know he's always feeling very depressed. His mm-hmm. pros are he's very helpful but will moan about every single task. Uh, he's got the brain the size of a planet and his cons is he's extremely depressed. And he can pull out, oh, the other pro is he can pull out the empathy gun whenever he feels like it, basically. Yes, lovely. Uh, what is the empathy gun for those who may not know? So basically, if Marvin shoots the empathy gun, then it makes them feel how he feels, which is obviously extremely depressed. <laughs> so it can cause quite a bit of chaos <laughs> lovely stuff and Mike I will be Taker Swift for this <laughs> for fuck's sake so yep. <laughs> it's Taylor Swift adjacent uh, she really loves cardigans and is a beloved pop songwriter but she has a deep Dark secret. She's secretly a tapir. Yep. Her okay. positive trait is she has a devoted fan base who are pretty scary, and she loves to eat uh, fruit, berries, and nuts. <laughs> her negative trait is if her secret gets out, she might be caught and brought back to the local Farringdon Zoo to serve time. My small question for this is: Was does this mean Taylor Swift has always been a tapir? Ah, uh, yes. Great, okay. <laughs> Just want to know. Uh, excellent stuff. So, heads or tails? Heads. It is heads, you get a deal over them. Hey. Yes. Uh, cool, so it is a sunny nine. Sunny nine today, so the sun is out. Uh, it's fairly warm, but not too terrible. And Mother is feeling cheeky today. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh. 
lovely stuff. So, it's a sunny day in Farringdon. The mother's in the kitchen making a cup of tea. Uh, we'll cut first of all to Wonder Bread Woman, first of all. Just a little slice of America. Wonder Bread Woman. Wonder Bread Woman wakes up Just and equips herself with America. all of her armor. <laughs> <laughs> and her lasso, true. <laughs> And a bag full of Wonder Bread. And she makes it. <laughs> Hello, my darling. Good morning, Mother. How are you today? I am doing well. How are you? I'm all right. I've just bought this lovely new air fryer. I was going to ask how that's working out for you. What have you made so far? Nothing. I can't get the bloody thing to work. <laughs> Would you like my help? Oh, yes, please. I'll uh, give it a go. Roll a D20, please, first of all. <laughs> 12. Cool. Roll a. Uh, pick a number between 1 and 100, please. Hmm. 75. God fucking damn it. <laughs> uh, so I've got, I've got 75. Uh, so what happens is, have you, has okay. anyone here seen Glass Onion? Not yet. No. Okay, so in Glass no. Onion, there's a contraption that opens up like a really fancy box, opens up in a really fun way. So that happens to the, to the uh, air fryer. Uh, and there is a bronze handled knife uh, with a note stuck to it saying, uh, use this to kill mother, love father. Hmm. Have you fixed the air fryer? <laughs> Mother's busy making a cup of tea, you can't see. Uh, for now, Wonder Bread Woman pockets the knife and the note mm -hmm. and says, I certainly have. What would you like me to make? I didn't plan this for it. <laughs> can you make me? What's the most British thing I can think of to confuse you? <laughs> <laughs> Jelly deals, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you may have to explain this dish to me. It's like eels in jelly. <laughs> basically it. Sounds delicious. Or some cockles, maybe. God. <laughs> okay, Wonder Bread Woman puts <laughs> herself to a corner of the kitchen looking up recipes for jelly noodles in the air fryer. Jelly eels. Jelly eels? Yeah. Even worse. Yeah, I know, trust me. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Forgive me. Jelly eels. <laughs> Um, Why does most British equate to most disgusting? Like, uh, <laughs> no, no, literally. <laughs> uh, we then cut to um, Marvin the robot. Oh, good morning, Marvin. Marvin's already in the kitchen, just in the. In <laughs> no one noticed. Like, him. No, he's, he's, he's just. He's just <laughs> you know, just following my path of playing the most depressing characters. Um, so, what was that, Chrissy? <laughs> oh. that, 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 that was out of character. Does it though? Well, let me just it check, was let, let me just let me just double check the rules. See if it says you have to be in character because I don't think it does. Oh, it looks like here it says if you try to be sneaking with a pass loop, you'll be killed by a DM. But I haven't remembered a pass loop. Mm -hmm. I said it's for me. Christy, can head, head, head to tails, please. Head to tails, please, Christy. <laughs> tails. <laughs> Marvin's alive. It's fine. Okay, but my apologies. I forgot the rules. I'm I'm a I'm, I'm a pled. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Right. Okay. So Marvin's in the corner of the kitchen, as, as nobody has noticed him. But he did notice the interaction with the knife mm -hmm. and the air fryer. Oh, good morning, Mother. No one noticed me again, I see. Can you roll that for please? Because okay. Mother didn't notice him, obviously, so, you know. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Ten? Oh, I've got a twelve, so yeah. you don't kill Mother, that's fine. <laughs> oh, well, now, Marvin, you can be a little jumpy there. Oh, my apologies. Hey, how are you doing, darling? No, oh, I'm extremely depressed. You should know that by <laughs> I don't now. know why I asked you. <laughs> Do you want a cup of robot tea? No, thank you. It'll just be a disappointment. Oh. Do you want to use my new air fryer? What's happened to my air fryer? <laughs> it looks all funky and weird. She looks at Wonder Bread and goes, What happened to my air fryer? I'm on my third um, eel recipe. <laughs> I still have it on quite right. I may just have a little more time. All right, I'll come back to you in a second then. Mother looks at uh, Marvin and whispers, I think she's broken me air fryer on purpose and I'm just trying to figure out how to fix it. <laughs> well, I don't know how to fix air fryers. God. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, I've had too much eels. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you then cut to Buckingham Bear. Buckingham Bear, um... 
pops on his usual red hat, mm-hmm. underneath which he has his cranberry and brie sandwiches <laughs> uh, and his credit card uh, for probably buying more cranberry and okay. brie sandwiches. Okay, a big silver hand comes down and takes away the credit card. Yoink. <laughs> and uh, a uh, gift voucher to Budgeons so he can buy some more cranberry and brie sandwiches. Mm-hmm. That's fine. And uh, also pops on his uh, blue coat because it's cold. Uh, he heads downstairs to, to chat to Mother. Hello, my darling. Hello, Mother. Um, I was wondering. Uh, you for, for no reason. Cunt. <laughs> Sorry, just slipped out. <laughs> I know it happens. More, more common than you might think, you lefty. Um, so I was just wondering, um, by, by the poor chance of my own um, wonderment, uh, that air fryer. What the bread was over there, mate? Yeah, how, my how, ears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mother, mother, mother that, that air fryer of yours, how did that come to be? Could you, could you explain? Honestly, no, I don't know what happened. I woke up one day, or today, <laughs> I woke up today, and there was an air fryer outside my door. But, you know, everyone's always saying to go get one. Uh, someone's bought me an air fryer. It's very nice of them. Wow. Uh, any any ideas? Do you have a secret admirer, Mother? Oh, man. she's all she's cheeky today. She's like, Maybe I do. When she looks over at um, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get any wild thoughts, Mother. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I've lost my erection. <laughs> uh, we. <laughs> 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 We then cut... He's totally flirting with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, but he's keeping it cool. Uh, we then cut to Tapia Swift. Tapia Swift is out in the backyard and just kind of digging and singing to herself. She's going, Tapia's going to dig, 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 dig. Tapia's going to eat, 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 eat. Get some bugs, get some bugs, the berries, get some bugs, get some bugs, the berries. Fucking never mind. Mother brings a little bell for Taylor Swift. Ooh, it's time for some tea. <laughs> and she trots into the house. Hello, Taylor Swift. Well, hey, good morning, Mother. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Mother? I'm all right. I've just noticed a little logic hole in your character. So one second. You're, you're Taylor Swift, secretly a tapia, but your name is Tapia Swift. I think somebody's <laughs> given the game away, mate. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. But it's fine. Who cares? Uh, Ali, do you want a cup of tea? Oh, yes. I'd love a cup of tea. Lovely. You can put it under your snout. <laughs> uh, we then cut to Suboptimus Prime. Uh, Suboptimus Prime. Prime is in the garage, obviously, mm-hmm. um, and wakes up. And I imagine he wakes up with a sound a bit like. <laughs> I hate this planet. And then sort of crashes out of the garage on the basis of being quite big mm-hmm. and sort of leans down to the kitchen window and says, Good morning, mother. Oh, well, I'm a darling. Do a cup of tea? Uh, I don't drink tea, but I'm dangerously low on coolant, oil, and screen wash. Uh, well, tough shit, because I'm out as well. Otherwise, I would have filled you up, you silly cunt. Right. Uh, Pardon me. <laughs> I drank too much coolant. Uh, right, everyone. <laughs> I've got a little task for you. Good. What would that task be, <laughs> Thank mother? You, mate. I need you all to go to the bed and buy me a scratch card. We could have had a really lovely day if you just shut up. Who, me? <laughs> Anyone. <laughs> oh. We could have just sat at home, eating cranberry and brie sandwiches, having a whale of a time. That would have been a really shit, boring podcast, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I've listened to a few. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, everyone. You're happy with your task? What yeah. number scratch card do you need, Mother? Oh, thank you for asking, Marvin. Number 13. So I can't read <laughs> Thirteen, please. So, are you sure you don't want me to pick you up any any sandwiches, any crisps, you know, a bottle of water? I won't say no to a packet of skips, but you know, it's not essential. All right, I'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll see it. I'll see it be done. I really like skips. <laughs> <laughs> see if there's an air fryer manual in there. Oh, well, thank you, my darling. Lovely. When you uh, when you say that, um, I, uh, Suboptimus notices the what's left of the air fryer. Oh my God, what have you done to Iron Hide? <laughs> 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 I don't know. What the big woman was tinkering the air fryer? It's broken now. What have you done Check to it? The bottom. By the way? Check the bottom. It could be a Decepticon <clears throat> or, the, <laughs> or an agent of the DVSA. Uh, it is not a Decepticon. <laughs> Wonderbread woman. 
uh, could I take? Could could I talk to you outside for a moment so you can explain exactly what happened to the air fire? Absolutely. Yeah, it's fine. I can't stop you. Um, Wonder Bread Woman, what happened to the air fryer? Uh, jellied eels are not something that you attempt to make in an air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> and the house just here, bollocks! <laughs> um, so I think while we're at Budgeons, if we're feeling kind and have enough money, we should attempt to buy Mother a new air fryer. And some jelly deals? Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Got quite the shopping list. <laughs> you can see that coming. <laughs> All the essentials. <laughs> Mother, mother opens the window and goes, You guys are right, you have a little chitty chatty. It's the bear shagging the wonder bread woman. Uh, I have to say off the record, I've just looked up jellied eels and yeah. I'm really concerned for all of you. I've never had them, so. <laughs> never had them. No. I'm a vegetarian, so. <laughs> <laughs> and we are now. <laughs> <laughs> One of the head as I look this up, is Gen Z are killing jellied eels. Good. <laughs> Gen Z really are. <laughs> Gen Z okay. are killing a lot. A lot. By, saying, <laughs> by saying killing jellied eels, that makes it sound like the eels are jellied when they're alive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Apparently Buckingham Bear has been doing it wrong. All time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to be fair, it feels like a rational thing for a bear to eat. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's like quite a Tory thing to be a dick to animals as well, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> We cut back to the house, and mother's like, Right, everyone, you all ready to go? Uh, yeah, so mother, just, just a oh, little Oh, you're back in the house, are you? Bloody hell, oh, I died. Um, <laughs> I'm talking through the window. Hello. Um, Mr. Verify, number 13 stretch card, bag of skips, air fryer manual, jelly deals, <laughs> and an air fryer. <laughs> and just a scratch card as, he's, as an essential, but if you want to pick up the rest, it's absolutely fine. Oh, and a copy of Hello magazine. <laughs> 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 While we're making a list, add Castrol GTX. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta look uh, after yourself as Optimus Prime. <clears throat> I'm not the man I used to be. You're also not a man. <laughs> You're a truck <laughs> mate, for fair enough. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> Hello, Mother. darling. Um, do you know where there might be any money? Just just about in Farringdon. I don't know, the bank maybe? <laughs> What a stupid question! <laughs> oh, shuts the window on you. <laughs> Fucking stupid bear. Before we leave, could Wonder Bread Woman please uh, lasso of truth mother? Uh, roll, a 12, <laughs> roll a 12, please. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Nine. I've got a one, so you absolutely nail it, yeah. Uh, one woman would like to ask mother if there is anyone she knows who would be interested in killing her. Yes. Who would that be? Well, <laughs> it's funny you ask that because there's a couple of cats in the bush outside who are planning to kill me any second. What? Uh, I'm going to spin around and look at the bushes and try and turn my arm into a fuck off big cat. Fucking <laughs> gives the bushes a hard stare. <laughs> uh, gonna... Arvin points his empathy at the bush. <laughs> Everyone roll a 12. Everyone who's doing an action roll a 12, please. I got a 12. I got a 12. <laughs> Christ, that. okay, I got a one, so yeah. <laughs> so, your, your, hand, your arm transforms into a, a gun, Andy. Like a big cannon, yeah. Big cannon, yeah. yeah. Uh, the yeah. hard stare works absolutely fine, you're just staying at the bush. Um, yeah. And the gun is ready to basically fire with no problem when it's ready. Uh, two big cat like humans jump out of the bush, and they are like shaking, they're terrified. What is your purpose here? Do you work for Bosa or Megatron? What the fuck is that? I never heard of it in my life. And the agents of those who would plot against me. Oh, Why I are you here? Are we here to kill mother? Why? Have you thought about not? I can give you a sandwich. <laughs> I can have a bit of a chat. <laughs> uh, Mungo Jerry, can you roll a D20 for Mungo Jerry? Uh, <laughs> he, takes, <laughs> he takes a sandwich. Oh, thank you very much. And he eats a sandwich. It's <laughs> a, a great time. Um, in fact, uh, cats, cats. Um, just been thinking. Yeah. Uh, just to pass the time, you know, while those guys go go to Budgeons. Mm. Do you actually go to the pub? We could have a bit of a chat. We could have a, have a lovely time. <laughs> and, um, and, uh, and drinks are on me. We have to kill Mother first. Marvin shoots the gun. Lovely. Uh, roll, a, roll a 20 piece, Christy. Come on. The oh, four? Uh, got three. <laughs> uh, so both the cats are feeling very sad now. Oh, what's the fucking point? <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't kill Mother after all. Maybe we should go kill ourselves. <laughs> oh, there's pub. There is, there is the, the, there is the pub. Milk. Like, you're cats, aren't you? 
milk. We do like milk. Uh, we shouldn't oh, have oh, those bad for ourselves. Well, what about what about um, t- white Russian? <laughs> 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 I'm too sad to drink anything. I think it's going to lie here on the floor. I'm going to take a All piece. Right. One of the cast takes a piece. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. I've used that that area of ground myself a few times. <laughs> um, <laughs> I must I must ask though. You know, uh, you seem like some cool cats. Um, you know, actually, we're jellical any... cats, not cool cats. Very different. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. How, how does one become jellical? Could I be a jellical bear? Don't don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> it takes far too long. It's all fucking a, sense. I want to be a jellical truck. Can you roll a twenty, please, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, eight. Right. Uh, are you become a jellical truck? What's <laughs> jellicals do? I don't know what it means. Nothing. It means absolutely good. nothing. So there you go. <laughs> Spoilers for cats. <laughs> can my uh, can my paint uh, can my paint job become like sort of like a, a tabby cat kind of like uh, you know uh, fur pads? Yeah, sure. Wicked. Great. In fact, you call cats. Have you ever have you ever thought about that cannon that, that shoots you up to the sun for some reason? Um, <laughs> would, you, would you like to you know have a go? Oh, we can't I think go I've to, got one in the back garden. We can't go to the heavy side layer unless you do a competition for some fucking reason. <laughs> well. Can we do a competition here? I don't think we have time, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we can't. Mother put the cat the window. What the fuck are you doing in the garden, lads? These cats are trying to kill you. Ow! Oh, dickheads! Mother comes out with a knife. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> stupid cats! Uh, uh, mother... Wait a minute. Mother is still in my class. Mother's still what? Oh, she is, yeah. So I have one final question. Hello, darling! <laughs> Because of my extreme hearing abilities, mm-hmm. uh, Wonder Bread Woman has heard everything that's going on in the garden mm-hmm. and decides to ask Mother why two cats would like to kill her. Uh, they think I'm responsible for this whole situation that we're stuck in. They've been fed intel by their hires up that I'm responsible for us being stuck in a time loop. We're stuck in a time loop? Yes, yeah, it's a whole thing, mate. Don't worry about it. And I wonder, Fred? we we feel like <laughs> we trust you because you are our mother. But how do we know that killing you is not in our best interest? Ultimately, well, I guess you don't know, do you, lads? Uh, sorry, you have to tell the absolute truth. I do bollocks. Well, uh, <laughs> killing me will end the game as it currently stands. If you believe that I am mother, without proof that I am mother. I am not mother. Whichever was correct, edit that in. <laughs> well, in compassion for the floundering that you just did, I will relieve you from well, the that's last. That's my favourite little mermaid character. <laughs> okay. No, I've I've decided to to end my questioning for now. I'm taking my last. I'm moving Thank you. forward. Mm-hmm. Mother, Hello, I, darling. I, I shout through the window. Um, do you have any evidence that your your mother? Yeah. I just realised I've never asked. Look at me. I look and sound like mother, and I call myself mother. Could you show me some ideas? Pretty good evidence that I'm mother. (laughs) This entire time, Taper Smith has been kind of sitting on the floor, just (laughs) kind of head empty, no thoughts, and then finally gets up and grabs an accord again. It's just like, we (laughs) are never, ever, ever getting back together. And just starts singing at the top of her lung. Mother looks at Tapia Swift and goes, All right, <laughs> well done. I have to say, that sounded quite a lot like the bottom of your lungs. Right, um, you gonna, can I get out of this last thing, please? Yeah, I already took it from you. Oh, that's fair enough. I was just, oops, I told you for a mistake then. Never mind. Oops, see? I said, with how much you were floundering under my questioning, out of kindness for you, I was removing you from the last. Oh, one. sweet. Mm-hmm. Since since I'm extremely suspicious that everyone is an agent of obviously the driver and vehicle standards agency, <laughs> um, uh, I'd like to uh, activate my like ocular sensors and like scan mother for you know signs of uh, you know Decepticon type activity. Sure, one of the twenty, please. Twenty. I got a twenty. <laughs> Great. You you scan mother. Um, you notice that mother is covered in tattoos. Uh, on her forehead, <laughs> on her arms, all of which stay, state, I am not a mother. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the whole time she had a tattoo on her forehead saying, yeah. I am not mother. <laughs> yeah. We've never acknowledged it. We never You fools, you've let an agent of Megatron mm, get here. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. 
uh, can I turn around and just like, like, not fi- be very clear about this, not fire the cannon, <laughs> just point it in the direction of this not mother. Who are you really? Who sent you? Megatron? Starscream? The uh, government? No, I'm definitely still mother, I promise. What did you do yes. with the real mother? I woke up this morning and I opened my hair fryer and then I put it on the kitchen counter and then I waited for you all to come in the kitchen and I said, I've got a little task for you. I'm going to go to the budgies and buy me a scratch card. None of you have fucking done it. I'm really angry, actually. Paper Smith's going to look, Swift is going to look at mother and just be like, you're on your own, kid. And then walk out to the backyard to the cats. Buckingham gives the air fryer a hard stare. <laughs> <laughs> the air fryer stares back somehow. <laughs> we'll just leave them be for a little bit. Yes, sir. Mother uh, looks at everyone and goes, Well, this is awkward. Pedro Smith is going to walk up to Mungo Jerry and be like, Hey, hot stuff. You want to come on <laughs> UX? Mungo Jerry looks at you and goes, I, uh, I thought you were with McCavity in the film. You sang, you sang the song about it. You, it was awful. <laughs> it was just awful. <laughs> He's going to brush her hair back and be like, Yeah. I'll write a whole album about him later. But <laughs> for now. All right. What do you what do you want, you silly tape here? I want to know more about you, hot stuff. We, we, we're here <laughs> to kill mother. Now we're not going to kill mother. We're, we're too sad. Well, where'd you come from? And where are you going to go? Where'd you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, we, we, we don't really know. We, we were born in a little box and we threw it out the window. Okay, one different woman get, gathers everybody and decides... Time to go to budgets. Okay. Mother wipes her brow. Fuck me, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, that decision's been made, so everyone leaves the house and goes to the budgeons. Uh, so you're walking down the road. Uh, we'll skip ahead a little bit, because uh, we already know where everyone is. We come to the T-junction. There's a left and a right and an alleyway on the other side of the road. What do you guys want to do? Sub Optimus Prime. Yes. Do you Uh-oh. have a sat-nav? Excuse me. My sat-nav is sent to another planet, but I can try. Roll well, a 20, please. <laughs> Three. I got two, so <laughs> uh, yeah, your sat nav works, and you you know where Budgeons is in well, relation well, to you guys. Look at all that traffic! I told you not to get on this freeway. I believe it is that way. And he points his big cannon. Arm. Points his big cannon arm. Does nothing else. <laughs> Better make that a left. left. Oh. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide. Is everyone going left? We should all go left. Going then. left. <laughs> Lovely stuff. So you come across a coconut shy style tent. There is a bell in the middle. What do you guys want to do? Ding ding ding. Ring it. Yes. I had, all three, bells, ring, I had right. three rings from Christy, so that's three rings. <laughs> uh, Tapia Swift. Rings it twice. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, anyone else? <laughs> I'll ring it approximately five and a half times. <laughs> can I? I'm not ringing it, but can I just shout, You fools! It could be a decision! <laughs> Absolutely fine. Is one of the women going to ring the bell? Mm. Question: mm-hmm. Are there any um, soldiers or military personnel nearby? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a one. So there's no one. No, I got, I got a one. So yes, there is. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Wonderbread woman has telepathic control mm. over uh, soldiers or military personnel. Uh-huh. So, so Wonderbread <laughs> going to summon that local soldier and have them ring the bell. How many times? Uh, <laughs> Uh, three, please. Fuck me. Okay, so we'll start. We'll start with Marvin. He went three times. <laughs> um, two seconds later. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen t- goes. Here we go. So <laughs> what, what I'll do is I'll make everyone's character ring uh, do their roles so all in one go, and then if you wanna, you know, like let's say if you get a do over, for example, we'll do like Christie's roles, and then ask do you want you to do over. We need to, and then next one, next next. Oh, it's gonna be a big mess. Okay. So lovely. So first thing that happens is there's a big puff of smoke. Out pops a mysterious character who looks and sounds just like Ian McKellen. <laughs> oh look, it's a mysterious <laughs> character who looks and sounds just like Ian McKellen. <laughs> you shall not pass. I shoot my gun. Oh fuck. Okay, what well, <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. I got four. It works fine. Yeah. Oh, I feel so sad. 
If you'd let me finish, I was going to say you can ask me any question and I had to answer honestly, but now I don't know if I fucking want to. <laughs> well, I feel exactly the same. I understand how you feel. It's not easy being Ian McKellen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would beg to differ. You, you have probably quite a nice house. And, this is the know. worst therapy ever. <laughs> yeah, you'd, you'd, you'd think so, wouldn't you? But after cats, my whole career has been derailed. <laughs> Everyone just knows me now as the man who licked a plate of milk and meowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> Wait, you know George Galloway? Oh, was that the question? Sorry. Do I know George Galloway? No. <laughs> oh, goodbye. And he leaves. <laughs> well, good. that was rather strange. <laughs> Mr. Mysterious <Mister, laughs> character who looks and sounds suspiciously like Ian McKellen mm-hmm. has just disappeared. You humans are a strange breed. Uh, then Christy got that, so nothing happens. Then you got this, so Marvin dies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a note here, so don't forget Marvin dies. <laughs> Lovely. Then Tapius. You do have a do over, yes? Use it. Let's we use might it. get like something that I'm, also works. I'm so bad at this game because the more the merrier. Kind of <laughs> yeah, how I. Exactly. You can bring, Ma- you. bring Marvin back if you want to. Yep, love him. strongly disagrees. <laughs> um, Marvin powers off like five seconds and comes back on again. He's like, it's fine. Oh, sorry. I just fell asleep from the boredom. <laughs> yeah. uh, Tapia Swift. I can relate. <laughs> Tapia Swift gets an extra life. <laughs> then Tapia Swift changes an event for the positive. So mm-hmm. an event in the future will be changed for the better. Then, here we go. Oh, yay, we have a future. Buckingham Bear. Creeper gets a do-over. Oh, have another do-over. Then you have a weather change. The wrong dice. It is now raining on a 19, so heavy, heavy, heavy rain. Then you... I knew I wore my coat for a reason. <laughs> You say that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Let's roll a d6. Uh, one, two, three, four. Tapia Swift dies. <laughs> All right. One by <laughs> down. Tapia dies. Then what happens afterwards? Da, 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 nothing happens. Uh, <laughs> then Buckingham Bear dies. We do have a do over. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. And Tapia Swift has, has an extra life. Very true. Yeah. So Tapia Swift doesn't die. Do you want to use a do-over for the bear? Yeah. The more the merrier. Yeah. Yes. yes. Lovely. So bear does not die. It's absolutely fine. Then <laughs> uh, the soldiers come over. Uh, the sol- One of the soldiers dings the bell and dies. <laughs> uh, the next soldier dings the bell. Nothing happens. The third soldier dings the bell. And we get to play a little game. So... As I stated before the episode started for Christie's benefit, uh, usually we'd have Sing Song, which does nothing really but plays a lot of Sing Song. Now I have an automaton. So for those who didn't hear the last episode, I can't play the automaton. I don't understand music at all. Um, I don't know how it works, and I have no ear for any musical talent whatsoever. I'm going to <laughs> listen to a song on Spotify, so I can't even hear myself play the automaton, and you have to guess what song I'm playing on the automaton. <laughs> Are we Can ready? I have a clue, at least? <laughs> uh, no, but everyone nope. does get a chance to answer the question. It's not completely unfair, because it is impossible. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go, let me find a song. Oh, grand banging. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> the problem was quite obvious from the beginning and then went on. 
<laughs> okay, so um, that was Soldier on that bell. So with the light shine. Oh, sorry, also a monkey pop sound called Spotify Monkey. And he goes, oh, God, what did you think that was then? What song was I think that was? The light shines on the Wonder Big Woman. Uh, Bad Romance, Lady Gaga. Ra-ra. Jesus Christ. It was, yes. And applause. Was it? You're, yeah. you're, I think your playing has stepped up. I, I, I mm-hmm. found that quite well, clear. Chrissy yeah. did not, clearly. To be honest, I was honestly expecting eye to eye. <laughs> I don't know why. If only. It's very, very similar. It's not at all. Uh, no. <laughs> so, um, you can either win a, a do-over for your whole team, Wonder Woman, or you can win an extra life for yourself. A do-over for the whole team, please. Lovely. So you now have two do-overs. <sighs> Christ alive. Anything else you want to do? Paper Smith, just walk, Swift walks out the booth. Mm-hmm. Marvin Powers back on. As we walk past Buckingham, can't resist dinging the bell one more time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking must. Mm. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, so here we can... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Ready, lads? <laughs> Find a song. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, guys, so I'm back again. <laughs> what do you think that was? And the light shines first only on Buckingham Bear. Buckingham Bear regrets the decision <laughs> and walks away <laughs> pretending he didn't notice. Okay, the light then shines on uh, Tapir Swift. Tapir Swift just side-eyes the monkey and says, that's the worst tradition of Shake It Off I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, it's very rude, but it was correct. It was Shake It Off. And applause. Uh, so you what? either get another do-over for the group or an extra life for yourself. Extra do-over. Lovely stuff. So you get three do-overs. Well done, everyone. Buckingham gives the, the, the... I don't know why I'm so stuck on this face. Gives the monkey a hard stare, hoping that he can <laughs> just persuade <laughs> it to give him something else. Okay. Uh, monkey brings a bell. So here we go. Ah, I'm actually <laughs> fuming. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I'll stop after this. I did not expect. We all ready, lads? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, bang, here we go. Monkey's like, what do you think it is then, guys? Uh, light shines on Bear again. I think it is the worst decision I've made. Um, <laughs> I'm done. Okay, you're done. Uh, so the bear dies. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> We've got three do over. You do, do you want to use it? <laughs> Could we please? Yes. I mean, there's very much an argument that you got yourself into this own mess. Really, yeah. Right? <laughs> so you need to do it. <laughs> but yeah, go on. Lovely. Yeah. Two doors left. Uh, so uh, the light then shines on uh, Want, Want a Bread Woman. What do you think the song is? My guess is Amazing Grace. That's the best I've got. Absolutely not. Okay. I also <laughs> heard that for about half an hour. I heard Amazing Grace for a little bit. Oh, <laughs> He was in there a couple of times. Uh, you're going to hate me when you see the answer then. Okay. Uh, the, the light shines on Marvin the Robot. What do you think the song is? They call that music. <laughs> I bloody well don't. Oh, the monkey's sad. <laughs> okay. The light shines on. I'll make on. you sadder. <laughs> I know you did your best, monkey. You did your best. It's okay. Uh, the light shines on Tapia Swift. Tapia Swift guesses. Is that careless whispers? Nope. 
The light shines on Optimus Prime. I fear my audio circuits are truly damaged. <laughs> I will shoot the next person that goes near that bell. <laughs> is that Buckingham your guess? takes a step back. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that your guess? Uh, yeah, yeah. This is okay. I've got. Uh, yeah. Well, guys, you're going to be so mad. That was Don't Stop Believing. Was <laughs> <laughs> it? You can't just say it wasn't, because it absolutely wasn't. <laughs> uh, please remember that I can, literally cannot hear what I am playing when I'm pl- when I listening to headphones. You're gonna, you, uh, please tell me you're editing this one. No, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am editing this one. <laughs> you're going to have a well of a time. Enjoy. Can't wait. <laughs> Enjoy Amazing Grace. Yep. Um, <laughs> and uh, oh, I hope when you listen back, you'll be like, oh, I get it now. But no. <laughs> Just, when, um, you, when you edit it, just edit it so it's like a note perfect rendition <laughs> of like. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Um, well, Buckingham um, sticks a, a tag on the monkey that says, "Please look after this monkey." <laughs> Thank you, um, because uh, it's been too long since a Paddington reference, and I only have about three in my brain at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Uh, what do you guys want to do then? Carry towards on. the budget. Bloody budgies. Yeah, budgies in it. Lovely. So everyone walks past the bell now, and as we just heard, uh, Optimus Prime did say, go near the bell, I'm going to shoot you. Everyone walks past the bell. So <laughs> Optimus Prime, can you roll, and, and everyone, roll an number 20, please. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to roll for Luke. 15. 13. 11. Luke got a 7. What did he get? 13. Okay, so everyone that got below a 13 dies. You could do over that whole situation, right? It is a mass, uh, yeah, it, it is a mass murder, so yeah. Yes, I, I feel, I, I, yeah, I feel like I should. So, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How many two overs have we got left? <laughs> yeah. One. One left, yeah. One. Did good, guys. You did, <laughs> did good with your opportunity. <laughs> I couldn't ring the bell again. Um, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, Luke, I'm going to stab you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I said I could, I didn't say I did. Well, I rolled for it, so are we ready, guys? After oh, two sorry. pages! Two pages! <laughs> I usually do half a page. Fucking hell. So uh, the monkey comes out again and he goes, What do you think that was, then, guys? He blind, once again points out the bear. <laughs> Is it, um, <laughs> it's all about you? It was, it's all about you. Yay! Yeah. Well done. So, do over <laughs> or life for yourself? Do over. Love yourself. <laughs> now through. we leave. <laughs> okay, yes. so everyone leaves. Yep. Lovely stuff. I can only apologise profusely. <laughs> um, <laughs> good gravy. So everyone fucking <laughs> finally leaves the tent. You come down to the roundabout. We all know what it is. Bit in the middle, bit at the end. What do you guys want to do? Paper Swift is going to take out her phone and mm. take a selfie at the roundabout. And can just... you roll other tent piece? Yeah. <laughs> A 10. I've got a 17. So as you may know, people take selfies in traffic and in uh, public transit <laughs> places. They tend to get hit by cars and then use quite a lot. So unfortunately, a car just run over tape your left and she died. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody want to use a do-over? Um, Can do. I don't mind. Yeah, why not? Yes. Yeah. I worked uh, hard on that one. And he just <laughs> wasted it. <laughs> yeah. <It was> selfie. <laughs> Lovely. So, Maybe Swift, would you like to go back to that tent? Face <laughs> <laughs> the consequences of what you've done. <laughs> oh, don't tempt me. Then, uh, I'm just going to point the point the cannon at you and just say, "Don't you dare!" <laughs> too soon, guys. Too soon. I'm sorry. Someone tell me when I'm allowed to make a joke around I'm here. I'm going to roll a persuasion for Buckingham Bear. You're all too woke. You can't take a joke. Uh, so Buckingham Bear. Oh, Mike, can you roll a, t- a twenty, please? Fifteen. Okay, so uh, Bucking and Bear rolled a 19 for Persuasion, so Tapia Swift does start going back to the tent. Now, Subotomus Prime did just threaten Tapia Swift, so are you going to follow through on your threat, or...? No. Great, so Tapia Swift goes back to the tent. Uh, what do you want to do? Tapia Swift's going to look around, 
Mm-hmm. And check to see if the soldier's dead body is still there. Yeah, still there. Okay. Tape your swift is going to loot the soldier's corpse. Cool. You find uh, his wallet and his ID and his like badge of honor he had. Excellent. I'm going to take the wallet and leave the ID in the badge. Cool. Love yourself. Uh, can you roll a clumsiness check, please, on your way out? Okay. <laughs> I rolled a 19. Great. You knock into the, the bell and guess what? It's time to roll for the bell. <laughs> I am going to shit. It was a fucking... Are you ready, lads? <laughs> I swear dice don't work. <laughs> well, I've got well, I've got a secret way to get the, the songs up again. I mean, only for a brief period of time, because it's very unique. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> Not for long. I'm <laughs> <laughs> actually crying over here. I'm like, Lord. Imagine if we actually win this. <laughs> <is> so mad. <laughs> You better now, actually. The, po- the power of music. Oh, I'm ready, lads. So, because only Tapia Swift is in the tent, only Tapia Swift may answer. So, what do you think the song was? Tapia Smith just looks at the monkey, wipes a tear from her eye, and just says, It was so beautiful. I couldn't even begin to guess. <laughs> <laughs> would you have to take a guess anyway? Or would you rather just let it go or something? Like that? <laughs> okay. Um, Tapier Swift is unsure of what the song is and just says, I'm sorry, you'll have to tell me what that lovely tune is. I was let it go by Frozen. In front of Frozen. <laughs> by Frozen. <laughs> yeah, by Frozen. <laughs> it was let it go. Uh, so, by Adele the Dream. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, I was like, since you said it, I should get it, I was like, well, is it Disney? Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> yeah. So, what do you want to do, Tapier Swift? Xavier Swift is going to leave the tent and close and zip it. <laughs> and then we can go back inside of it. Lovely stuff. Uh, <laughs> the monkey unzips. Please don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> monkey, monkey. Would you like to come with us? We're just going to Budgeons. We're going to we're going to go and uh, we're going to buy a scratch card. Uh, unfortunately, uh, some skips, bear. an what? air fryer manual, some jellied eels, <laughs> an air fryer, and Hello Magazine. Buckingham Bear, you are unfortunately too far away, so you are just talking to yourself, <laughs> uh, which is great. So, guys, what do you want to do? Can I um, attempt to turn into a truck so as to uh, navigate the roundabout as a, as a member of the traffic? Roll a 12, please, first of all. A 12. Okay. A member of the traffic? I don't, I don't know what I meant by that. Great, great episode title. <laughs> One great, so um, as we know, <laughs> trucks are very, very big and very heavy. Can everyone yeah. roll an unfair 20, please? <laughs> what, do I have to roll one as the uh, yes. attacker? I guess, yeah, God. I rolled a seven, I got oh. a five, <laughs> Heather 18. I also have a question though mm-hmm. could Wonder Bread Woman attempt to lift this truck, please? Potentially, yeah. Well, did uh, everyone get I got, a, I got 16, okay. Well, I the I got a twenty for death and got a six. So, uh, the truck <laughs> just just like transform and just crush everyone. But Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman just want to lift a truck. So, can you roll a twelve, please, first? Or Wonder mm-hmm. Woman. Mm, nine. Six. So you do lift the truck up over your head and stop it from crushing everyone. Just a little slice of America. So everyone's good. 
I didn't transform into an aeroplane. <laughs> Uh, so one of them just holding this truck over her head. <laughs> just like enough. Uh, what do you want to do? Paper Smith's going to get out of the way. Mm-hmm. Okay, the so truck. you're going into... You're going, I'm you're, going to go away from traffic. Okay, good. <laughs> 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 I'm yeah, yeah. just walking to the road. <laughs> I saw those gears starting at you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tapia, can you roll over 20, please? I rolled a five. We've got 16. So tapirs, if you don't know, have quite long little snouts. Uh, as we did establish from the weather change, it is a rainy 19. So a big puddle just kind of floods into the tapir's <laughs> nose and it drowns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do have a deal well, sure. if you want to use it. Sure. Might as well Go on. get as far as we can. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm good with it. Yeah, I'm good with it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So no more do others, but the tapir just drinks the water. Absolutely fine. So what do you guys want to do? <laughs> Anyone want to go back to the tent? Um, can no. you put me down, please? <laughs> I have no flying form. I don't know if my suspension is good enough to be dropped. Oh, um... Gently, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will. Okay. My suspension is not what it once was. Can you, roll a, can you roll a d12, please, Heather? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. 11 okay so you <laughs> you forget mm-hmm. how strong you are and you just chuck him across the road <laughs> and you and Andy go for the 20 oh, goodness 15 13 because he don't kill him but oh. he, and he's on the other side of the road but he is quite badly hurt uh, but oh. you, have, you have successfully thrown him across the other side of the road you're very strong <laughs> guys guys I've just been thinking we spent quite a while in that tent um <laughs> <laughs> should we? Should one of us phone Mother? See how she's doing. Check she still wants a scratch card. I mean, why not? Do you have a phone? What else we're gonna do? Paper Swift is gonna check to see if her cell phone was crushed. Uh, good shout. I want a twelve, please, Mike. I rolled a three. Uh, it was crushed. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry. I keep a phone in my hat. I just neglected to mention it earlier. Um, I'll phone Mother. Cool. What's the number? Uh, one. <laughs> she was the original. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <sighs> fuck's sake yeah it works okay cool <laughs> uh, so the phone rings uh, hello just thought I'd I'd check in how long have we been out <laughs> right. Would you still like that scratch car? Yes, please. I don't want to take us a bloody lot, to be honest. Well, you see, there was a monkey. And he was in the tent. I don't know monkey. I don't believe you. Well, don't you worry. I will get your number 13 scratch card, your skips, your air fryer, manual, your jelly deals, your air fryer, and your Hello magazine to you as soon as possible. I think so. Unless you want to just stay on the phone as we shop, you could, you know, hurry us along. <laughs> as you hang up the phone, <laughs> uh, we cut back to the kitchen. Mother's just skinning the cats alive. <laughs> <laughs> um, I totally forgot that was this. Luke. <laughs> oh, what was that, Luke? <laughs> I, 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 I totally forgot that was this, uh, Luke. Unfortunately, I I talking and Bear remembering a past loop. Uh, the phone explodes in his hand and he dies. <laughs> Fucking and Bear's final words. Oh, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So the bear dies. Uh, what do you guys want to do? I'm just going to honk the horn. Like, <laughs> and hurry, hurry up, you know, like... A, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to roll up a 10. I'll roll a 10 to help um, Yeah, the cars are fine. What do you guys want to do? <laughs> Right, Marvin's going to shoot the cars, uh, you know, on either side of the road, so we'll try and get it to stop. Roll a 20, please. Six. Oh, we've got seven. Uh, the cars do not stop for you. Um, one of the guys gets out of his car and he's going to swing at Marvin. Can you roll a 20, please? Oh, 20! Great, so he just goes to swing for you. You go down the and you kill him. Uh, there's now just a car blocking the road on one side of the road. Can I loot the corpse, please? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> Roll 20. A 16. Uh, he steal his money, yeah. And his car keys. What type of car does he have? <laughs> uh, he's got a Skoda Fabio. <laughs> That's quite for him. 
Be careful, it could be a Decepticon. <laughs> or, or worse, a government employee. <laughs> Optimus, I was going to say, do you not need some of its parts? Uh, n- not if it's a Decepticon, no. <laughs> check it. Check it for amusing faces. I check it. Great. Uh, it was a, I, I just rolled it. was a Decepticon. So can you roll another sense of things? <laughs> <laughs> 11. I got 20. The Decepticon <laughs> just fucking shoots you in the face. And Marvin dies. Oh, my enemy! Oh, my gun. enemy! <laughs> Please Six take my gun and my <laughs> money before I die. Tabor Smith takes it. And Tabor Smith is just going to cross him in the middle of the roundabout. Mm-hmm. Cool. And then it's going to observe traffic to see if there's a clearing to just get across. Cool. You gonna go across? Yes. I'm um, 20, please. I rolled this 10. I got 14. Yeah, you stop on the road and the car hits you. And there's uh, a Taylor Swift dice. All right, and as Taylor Swift starts to tumble, mm-hmm. her wig is gonna fall off. <laughs> <laughs> and her mask is gonna fall off. And we're gonna discover that she's actually Lemmy Killmeister from Motorhead. And as. <laughs> They fall. They're gonna yell. I don't wanna live forever. <laughs> and die. Oh, great. So, uh, <laughs> wonderful one. What are you gonna do? Well, Tapir Swift just died with all of the money, mm-hmm. so I would like to take that off of her great. body. So you have to cross the road first. Also, one side is already closed off. That's absolutely fine. So she's in the middle of the road. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you could try and cross the road. Okay. Do you want to have a sense, please? 15. I've got 10, you're fine. Okay. Cool. Take so, take the money. Um, you go to the other side of the road and you meet up with uh, Optimus Prime after you just threw him across. <laughs> what a fucking mess this is. Um. <laughs> Two budgeons. <laughs> Before I just, hang on a minute. Before I just drive down this um, street, um, you know, is this a, a two-way street? And if so, also, how wide is it? And this trucks are quite wide. This is a one-way street. So thank you for asking. Um, <laughs> you are, and you, you are going against traffic. Can I transform back into walking uh, op- suboptimus? Maybe. So roll, a tw- roll a twelve. <laughs> uh, nine. I got two. You do. You find more. Uh, okay, so he gets up and, and, and like, um, so as he sort of transforms back, he sort of he feels his knee a bit like Peter Griffin because he has suspension. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, oh, that's sore. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> and then um, just, just strolls on down the road, I guess. Lovely. Uh, so you guys walk down the road. Do you see Ming's Chinese and fish and chip takeaway? I have no need of human sustenance. <laughs> <laughs> so you going past it? Mm-hmm. Lovely. You mm-hmm. go past the police station and you come to USA Chicken and Pizza, the best takeaway in Farendom. Maybe on the way home. Pass it. <laughs> okay. So you see Budgeons. They don't look like they sell screen wash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you go to Budgeons. Oh, hell, there. I got to help you today. Good God, you look a mess. What's happened to you? <laughs> I, I, I think I'm probably just sort of peering in through the window, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hello, hello, sir. Hello. How can I help you? And you, madam? We are looking for a number 15 scratch card, please. Okay, dokie. That'll be twenty pounds, please. Okay. Refer to the human with the human money. Okay, doggy. Hello, oh, sir. Madam, sorry. <laughs> Been a long day. Bullet from the soldier, and mm-hmm. also money that Marvin had acquired. Thank you very much. Here you go. Take your card. Any card. Thank you. Very much. This card. Could I please have a receipt for that? Okay, doggy. You could see the receipt. Or I hope you have a nice day. Thank you so much. I hope you do as well. Oh, thank you. Goodbye. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got confused. <laughs> What's happening? So you got, were you going outside? Mm-hmm. Lovely. What do you guys want to do? Did you get a receipt? I couldn't I see. Did. <laughs> Great. I, I don't understand that's... human economics, but I understand that's important. <laughs> Absolutely is. Wonder Bread Woman tries to grab a hold of um, <laughs> uh, her compatriot. And tries to use super speed to go all the way back to the house. Great. Well, uh, T12, firstly. Mm-hmm. Eight. 
I've got ten. So you run super speed into the big bear that just fell on top of you. <laughs> Can you roll another twenty, please? Mm -hmm. Sixteen. Oh, I've got nineteen. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, so Wonder Bread Woman just like bonk into the glass and just like slides down oh. the blood, smearing all over the glass. Down. Actually, can Andy also roll a twenty because she was grabbing onto him? Nineteen. Well, I also got a nineteen. So as, ah. the, as the attacker, I do win. So you both just smash against the glass and just like melt down the side. <laughs> Good. <laughs> God, that was the end of the opponent 62. Round of applause, everyone. the wrong dice as well so that's really good so it's uh oh my jesus christ could be a fucking nightmare this is <laughs> maybe here for some time yep so it's a three for you. bonus episode just yeah. the bell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh that is what's that what's a of that so that's for christy uh swifty so uh, da -da. And then that one. Bear. Jesus. <laughs> Hope you're fucking happy with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely. <sighs> For the record, I'd never touched it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm sitting happily on the moral high ground here. Now we're gonna flip to see if we round up or down from five. <laughs> uh, we round <laughs> so angry with you guys. Uh, good, and then the soldiers are three. Mm -hmm. oh, Jesus, I don't even remember what these are in <laughs> relation. So I really hope you guys are happy with yourselves. Oh my goodness! Is it all just songs? <sighs> <laughs> Musical episode. Okay, so.